about the Morse code? Yeah, so we, you had discussed it, John and I had discussed it previously, and then it was brought up at the last meeting um, and verbally kind of approved, but I wanted to document it. So you should have it. And mm -hmm. Here's a copy for you, John. Um, just want to, if the board just wants to look it over, uh, make sure that, I mean, I, I went by what was said in the meeting, but I thought it was important to just write it all down. It's a great idea. Um, and that way there we can... I'll just reiterate it so everybody hears it again. Uh, and this is... We're just... We're, this is a, uh, another experiment. We're going to try this out to see if it helps us uh, make this uh, expected uh, earth removal permit uh, uh, it process uh, look so and, uh, efficiently and uh, without controversy if at all possible. And by the way, we haven't gotten a permit application yet. We have not. Okay. So this was brought forward by the Morse Brothers permit, uh, earth removal permit application, which we still don't have. But if we ever do get it, uh, so this is the recommendation that uh, prior to the start of the meeting, we will have sign-up sheets available for the public to complete, indicating their desire to speak at the meeting. Uh, public hearing will be opened by the Board of Selectmen, and the applicant will have the, the applicant will have the first opportunity to present their application and arguments to the board. Uh, the board will then call on department heads and or their designees to provide feedback on a proposed project. After the town departments have had the opportunities to weigh in, the chair will open the floor to the public, and we will call the names in order of how they appear on the sign-up sheet. Uh, speakers will be given three minutes in order to get their point across to the board. Uh, once all individuals signed up on the sheet have had an opportunity to speak, the chair will open it for members of the audience who have not yet had the opportunity to speak or for additional comments by those who have, and additional comments will be limited to two minutes. Um, so, and then the goal of the defined procedures is to maintain an orderly process while giving everyone a chance to voice an opinion. The uh, chair of the Board of Selectmen reserves the right to vary this set of procedures and can allow members of the board to speak at any time. And I, that, that's a good point we hadn't talked about. I don't intend to control what you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that is not the point here. The point is, um, I, I think, you know, assuming it's hap we get what we have in the past with these earth removal permits, a big crowd, Everybody wants to say something. I just want to do it orderly. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but, but the board, I think, is outside of that. Since you're, we, you guys have, we have, the three of us have to decide it, so you should have any opportunity sure. to ask any questions mm -hmm. that anybody want to. Sure. Uh, it's just I want to make sure that I don't have to listen to the same person over and over and over again, get sure. up and say, I want to say it again, right? Over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. so, All right. Uh, do you want to? We vote to adopt it, and we already did that. You voted to adopt it at the last meeting. I just wanted to put the pen to paper and okay. and just make sure we're all in agreement that this is what you yeah, voted, and, and that way they are, um, you know, we can we'll have it. We can if we want if we get an application prior to the public hearing, we can even post this on the website just so people know coming in this is this is the procedure. And it, and I think it's important for the public to know we're not looking to limit people's ability to speak. We're we're looking to keep it. Orderly, and we're lucky. I will say, I'll toot your horn. You do a great job of keeping things going, keeping the train chugging along. Sometimes, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, I just think it makes sense to have these set of rules so that it yeah. eliminate it eliminates some of the chaos. Yeah, you know what happens? It'll happen. It always does. Yeah. Like a town meeting, you see it all the time. You know, somebody keeps raising their hand. I want to talk. I want to talk. He's like, you know, I got to do this one, this one, this one, this one. This way, <coughs> we have we have a list, right? Yeah. So, Frank Johnston. Frank, Frank Johnston. Frank, Frank Johnston. Frank Johnston. gets to go second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to start with All the way down the line. And then when we get everybody that's taken the opportunity to sign up yeah. uh, and somebody wants to say something else, then we'll go back to it. Yeah. Just to, and I don't intend to, you know, I, I, it's an arbitrary number of three minutes, but that's just so we don't get rambling on. And I think you can make your point in three minutes. I think so. I, I would hope. Yeah, I don't think anyone goes over three minutes unless they're trying to. Throw in Dominate different the, laws, uh, and yeah. mm -hmm. so that's all. That's all. It's just an opportunity, just to help, hopefully make it a little smoother. smoother. Yeah. No, I think it's fantastic. Yeah, no one will be jumping all, all over everyone. It'll be a and you like you say, it's we're just trying this a little out. bit more civil. So we'll see how yeah. see how it works. I mean, I think we need to make rational decisions, and it seems to me that that's how we do it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you. Would yeah. You? Oh, thank you. Mr. Green, I have a question. Um, Frank Johnston, Elm Street. So has Morse Brothers ceased moving dirt or sand prior to this permit? 
think that anything's going on over there. As far as we are aware. So they're going to pull a permit and then start a X amount of material based on what their permit is. Right. So, so it's not going to be hauling between now and when a permit is issued. Unless they're hauling their cranberries. Well, I'm talking about the sand over there. Yeah, the excavation activities. They're not supposed to be. Right. Shouldn't be removing. Yep. They shouldn't be doing any more. And we have to. There. Unless it's discussions with our, our town councils. Talk to their lawyer. Sure. They. They've agreed that uh, they need a permit, so I assume they're going to follow through. Yeah. In my, my dealings, I know everybody has their own opinion about them, but in my dealings with them in the last six months, um, you know, they've been pretty above board. I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen anything that's mm -hmm. not... They, they obviously have their interests, you know, and I don't blame them, and they're going to, you know, aggressively press, press them. They should. But, but so far, they've been, at least as far as I've yeah. had to deal with them, pretty... Uh, Pretty easy to deal with them in that regard. You don't always agree, but. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, next up is Arca. Uh, Arca. 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 Uh, yes. Yeah, so this is the board. A uh, previous board had approved 400. Uh, yes. Yeah, so this is the board. A uh, previous board had approved $450,000 for funding of the water treatment plant upgrades, um, and. Like it was an oversight. We thought that it had been six hundred thousand. We had been accounting for six hundred thousand. So we just need a formal vote of the board to approve six hundred thousand instead of four hundred fifty thousand for the water treatment plant upgrades for the ARPA project. I know you get the question. Go ahead. <laughs> Frank Johnston, Elm Street. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, so we're all really looking for an additional one hundred fifty thousand to the four four hundred fifty thousand. We're not looking for an additional 600 on top of the 450. No, correct. Okay. So we're really looking to approve an additional $150,000. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So um, can you just give us a brief explanation of what the ARPA funding is, how much we have? And, uh, so this is, the, uh, yep, this is the American Rescue Plan Act funding uh, that came from the federal government as a result, uh, basically a stimulus to municipalities, cities, counties across the country uh, as a result of the COVID pandemic. So uh, the town received probably in total around $2 million. Um, a lot of that has been allocated. This board had allocated some. Previous board had allocated some of that. Um, and we had been uh, in May that we borrow for, for the approximately uh, $2 million, I believe it was. So this, is, um, this really results in us having to borrow less money. Um, so it's a, it's a good thing. And this is for the Richmond Park? Levels? It's the Richmond Park and the Y Camp, both of oh, them. And these were uh, upgrades that we've needed to make for, for a while? Yes. For quite some time. Under some yep. sort of law. We're under administrative order from the EPA. So, got to do it sooner yeah, rather than later. And we have awarded the contract for the